What's up, people? I got the top 15 add-ons in World of Warcraft for you to take your game to the next level. I've grouped them up also very conveniently into groups of five. The first and the top five are the five must-have, oh my god, I gotta have these, I wouldn't play the game without them type situation. The middle five are very, very solid and just really just kind of polishes off the UI in some ways and kind of helps make things a little bit more efficient as well at the same time. Numbers 11 through 15 aren't slouches by any means, they are very, very good add-ons and we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. Number 15 is Auctionator. Auctionator is great because when you go to the auction, it just saves you time. And yeah, I love add-ons that save me time. If I want to sell something in any way, shape, or form, they have extra buttons at the bottom down here. Buying things normal is selling things normal. Auctions, you can search for specific type of things. Shopping, you can search for and you have different things uh, that you can keep on a, a recent shopping list. As you can see, I was looking up enchants for uh, heirloom gear. But let's say I wanted to look up a potion of some kind. It gives me the one search result, shows me the price, I can click on it, and then it shows a full list of all the different, how many are available, this many, this is the price, and there's 538 at that price, and I can just start buying. Same thing for selling. If I go down here to selling and I want to sell linen cloth, I can drag in the linen cloth. It shows me the entire interface, preloads everything at the recommended spot to put it right here with these people, set the duration, you can just post. It's literally, I don't even think anymore. I just drag it in there and post it, drag it in there and post it. I probably could make more money if I was like really particular about it, but that's not the part of the game that makes me the most excited, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Let the add on do it. Speaking of add ons, <laughs> which is this whole video. Blizz move, if I press escape here, as you can see, my escape screen is slightly off to the right instead of right here, cause I can move it. This might be the number one. If I wasn't, so, if it was, I love this so much. It's so annoying that whenever you pull up any sort of menu, when I, I, I could pull up my talent page, right? Talent page, you can move that around, right? I can put, move it down, see what's going on, move it back up. You can move anything. It's called blizz move for a reason. I honestly feel bad right now having it be this low on the list. Maybe it should be higher up there, but I've already said it now. Now. So Blizz Move, it's very simple, but you just move literally anything around the screen. Super simple. Number 13, Raven Buff Bar. I just recorded a video on this, so it's going to hit the channel a little bit later than this video, but up here you can see my buffs are a little bit different. These are long duration buffs, as you just saw the little buff I got here. These are short duration buffs, and this is where all my debuffs come in. Long buffs are anything longer than two minutes. You can set that and change that. Anything that's going to be on my character for a while is up at the top. Anything that's a short little quick buff, like a little immolation aura or a speed boost that I get, are going to come up in a separate little section. I like that. And then I have my debuffs down here. I'm going to have a full video diving into it because Raven is honestly a kind of a complicated add on right here. But if you look at it, there's a bunch of different things I can set and put into, into place. And if I can go, I can show a uh, toggle test mode and you can see all the different things here of where I have all my uh, buffs here. And you can also change. There's so many things to it. I'm going to save that video. I'll make sure to put it in the description once that video comes out in about a week or two. Next up is Omni CD. Whenever I go into your interface, I'm gonna, I got to show you here. I unlock my uh, add on so you can see my party frames. But when you, when you have your party frames or if you use the default party frames whatever omni cd puts cds of your party next to their next to their character so if you have a tank in the group a healer in the group some damage dealer it lets you see your allies cooldowns omni cd cooldowns it lets you see their allies cooldowns it's nice it's nice to know if I, my healer has something up or if they don't have anything up in mythic pluses if i'm pushing the timer i usually tank so i can see and look at their cooldowns and see if they have something up for a big pull or not so omni cd honestly should probably be lower down the list because it's pretty pretty simple but it's just kind of nice. Number 11 is deadly boss mods. This is just really nice because it does give you information that is helpful, especially if you are in my position to tank or just in general, letting you know what things are about to happen. So if you go to the options here, you can go to any sort of announcements and move me and it lets you know what phase of the boss they're about to do this thing. They're about to do that thing. A lot of the over the top things of deadly boss mods, I tend to turn off like sounds and moons uh, it's talking to me. I think it's just a little bit too much. And I think in general add ons like this have gone too far and I would totally love to see Blizzard in implement something to where it, it gets removed in some sort of way. But until then, I do like to have at least just this little bar over here that you just saw where it shows the announce of some way of like what phase is coming up. That's the biggest things I like. You can totally have it set up to where it's flashing and yelling at you every time you do anything wrong or if you're stepping in something bad, you can have it be as intrusive or not as you want. Now we're getting to that middle tier, numbers six through 10, the middle batch here of these 15. They're a little bit better, another notch up, and honestly, I still feel bad about Blizz Move not being in there. Omni CC, if you can tell down here, on these abilities, whenever I use an ability, there's a number that pops up over it. And you can just see I have different numbers and the different sizes whenever they pop up on the screen. And it just gives a nice clear number that right now starts off as yellow and then it goes red right here. And when it gets under five seconds to one and it's back and available. I personally don't know why this is not just the default part of the game. I think that Omni CC should just be included in that. And Omni CC and other add-ons are very uh, user friendly with each other to where you can turn it on or off on certain things that you put in. And other add-ons that you put in to look at, use Omni CC 
SEC is the numbers on top of it anyway. So it's just great for the number tracking of your cooldowns. Number nine is sexy map. And if you look at this map up here in the top, it's pretty sexy. I don't know. I don't know about you, but this right here is uh, it just looks very clean. I like this the square. They have endless, literally endless options as far as what you could do here. You can have it be arcane runes floating around, druid nature leaves. You can change the colors of it. I have chosen the most basic and simple and clean version of it. I do have a full video already on sexy maps if you want to look and check that out. Uh, but it's very also easy because I can mouse over and there's the calendar and I can pull up the calendar if I want or I can not mouse over it and it goes away. And if I zoom in with the mouse and I see something, if I don't do anything, it automatically snaps back to the original position three, four, five seconds later, just like it just showed. And another thing, and this is kind of a bonus add on because I, I just have to talk about it. It's mini map button bag or mini button bag. Yeah, mini map button bag. It puts all those annoying things that are swirling around your map and just all nasty, puts them all in one little thing. So there they are right here. There's Raven buff bar. There's all these things, all that stuff. It's just really clean. So that's technically another add on there, but I'm going to count it was one because it's maps. Number eight right below that is Khalil's quest tracker. I did just film a full video on this as well. It is amazing. It's very user intuitive. If, if you, for some reason, watch this video before I have that, it is pretty quick. It's pretty clean. It has one uh, interface in there at all. So let me show you. It's all right here in one. And it's just literally this row of all the different options you have to change it to look however you want. And the coolest part is the filter. You can filter it to where it, you can show all the quests that you have ever everywhere, or you can filter it to be zone specific to where it only sh the current zone that you're in only shows you the quest for that zone. If you enter a dungeon only shows you the dungeon quest. It dynamically changes the whole time, or you can show unfinished quest and it shows you all the quests you haven't finished, or you can show finished quest. I need to go turn that in. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And then we have quartz cast bar. I usually play tank. So again, I don't have casted that much, but quartz cast bar, you can see it right here. I changed it to purple because I like purple, but it's pretty simple. It has a nice little la lag buffer to show you kind of where things are at based on what's going on. It's in my opinion, the best cast bar that's out there. A lot of other add-ons have cast bars baked into their interface. I just in general have liked quartz better. I, it's very, very simple, very, very lightweight. And I can also change my target and targets target and focus target, all the different kind of cast bars right there. And I can see whatever's going on. I also do have a full video on quartz. All these things will be down in the description. And then we have number six, which almost was really into the top five. Really great add-on that it's honestly replaced uh, rest in peace dominoes. Dominoes would have been in the top five because uh, I just used dominoes for so long. But dominoes is dead now uh, going into Dragonflight. Time out since filming this video. There's another add-on that's very similar to Bartender that I use now instead of Bartender because it came back. Dominoes. Dominoes, I like that just this in general right here. I can hold my mouse over and it can show me all the different bars that I can show instead of individual bars that can link together. Here's what all the different stuff you can do. It looks so clean, so beautiful. I have a full video on the channel. I'll put the link down in the description for all the different action bars and how to set this one up. But this is the cleanest user interface for all the different stuff, talking heads, action bars, loot windows, everything. Okay, back to it. Bartender is amazing. I did have a full video on this as well. Bartender is what you see here. All of these is what bartender is. And if I go to bartender and I go to my different profiles down here, I will change it from my 6.0 show to 6.0 hide. This is how I normally have my interface right here. I'm turning things on for the sake of the video, but I normally have a hidden. And if I mouse over, I can see my different buttons down here if I need to. And I have another button over here, hearthstones and consumables, all that kind of stuff, right? And it's all there. And here's my, uh, my interface panels over here, my bags right here. It's all hidden and clean in the way that I want. Again, I have a full video going over how to set up Bartender for the way that you want. I show a full basic setup where you just have action bars and you use them very simply or this interface where you have it all hidden. But now we're getting into the top five. Oh, the top five is uh, definitely game changers. And as far as efficiency, quality of life, logistically what you can do and what it lets you do with the game. So we're starting off with Opi. Opi is a this little ring right here. And if you see, I have a, a macro set up to where when you press a button, it shows the ring of options that you have here. You can change this ring to be literally anything in the game. You can have it be items in your bag. You can have it be abilities you cast. You can have it be tons of options that I'm going to kind of show you a little glimpse in anything. I can switch specs here. I can switch to Havoc spec. I can not switch to Havoc spec. I can open my bags. I can open my character pane. I can open my talent bar. I can open and do anything at the simple. I'm pressing one button, by the way. I'm pressing F2 and this thing comes up with whatever options and I've completely customized it. This is a macro that opens my character pane and bags at the same time, which is really nice. Uh, I also have, if I do shift Z, it's all my consumables. So 
Very simple thing. And Shift Z is not something I'm going to be pressing during combat. Before the dungeon starts, I press Shift Z and I can do my consumables. I can drink my potions. I can eat my food. Whatever it is, I have Shift Z be my, all right, hold up. We're about to play. Shift Z, let me get my stuff going. I also have the tilde button. The button right next to one on your keyboard is my hearthstones. Any sort of traveling. Wormhole generator for engineers. Hearthstone. Dollar and Hearthstone. I press one button and all of those options come up. And you can change it and customize each ring to be whatever it is you want. Oh, I also have a transmog and toy. So I have my transmog mount that I can press. Any sort of my favorite toys I can put on this thing. You got fun stuff like that. Or you can do serious in combat things like a focus target. So if I have this character right here and I and I do this, it focus sets them as my focus target. And all that was was control space bar. And I'm not trying to get into bindings here. But control space bar is something I just press, I literally use the the ball of my hand right here and I just slam it on my keyboard and that gets my focus target. So I wanna set a focus target, bang. Set a focus target, bang. And I can easily change my focus target around to whoever and whatever I want to be my focus target, right? And if I wanna clear my focus target, I do the same thing, but then I can clear it, I can target the target or I can clear the focus target. So as you see right here with this guy I've, I've randomly targeted, I can set him as my focus if I just control space bar and there is my focus. I can change my target, I can look over here, I'm looking at this guy now. Again, this guy is my focus and if I control space bar and I can clear it over here, I can target my focus and that changes my target over here or I can clear my focus. All of this is Opi. All of this is Opi. I talk about all this in the Opi video. I got so excited just talking about Opi, I went on a little too long about it. <laughs> there you go. There'll be an Opi video that releases uh, soon on the channel. And number four is threat plates. Another video that I do have uh, completely. Threat plates is my the interface I have for what I what looks like the health bars. Let me go Let me go over here. This are the health bars that you can see right here. There we go. Perfect example. Thank you, Mage for displaying this. The health bars, it shows on the screen. They, they don't overlap each other. You can set up so many cool things to have the health bars look as clean. I've kind of shortened them a little bit so they're not as long. You can see them kind of dynamically move around how I like to have it. There's so many settings and cool options there that I absolutely love for threat plates. There's a lot of different health bar add-ons out there. I've dove heavily into each one of them and did a full video on, on, on threat plates because I do genuinely believe it's the best. Number three, you even saw me go to it earlier in this video. What are the final three? What do you think the final three are? Because I really tried to really get these top these top five in a in a true order. I still feel bad about Blizz move though. But anyway, uh, shadow unit frames. Shadow unit frames are my health bars that you see here. All of these are shadowed unit frames. I think that it looks so clean, so customizable. And you can see this is my health bar. This is my character's health bar right here. I've, I've customized it to be just, I have a percentage here. It's very important as a tank to have my character health right here, and I love it. And honestly, on my DPS characters and healer, I still have my health bar in the center. It just makes sense to me. And then my target's just off to the side a little bit, target of target, all that stuff. And then if you want to see my full locked frames here, I'm going to unlock everything. Uh, and this is kind of what everything looks like. I have my party frames here, my pets here, raid frames here, boss and PvP stuff over here. It's just really clean and customizable. Again, I talk all the way about it in the video. Now for the top two. The top two, you might know, you might think you know what the first top one is because it's probably everybody's top one, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a little real with y'all here. Number two is weak auras. Weak auras are an absolutely amazing and probably honestly too strong of an add-on. <laughs> Blizzard, if they nerfed all the deadly boss mod stuff, they'd be nerfing weak auras and stuff. Uh, there's a fine line there. That's a, maybe a video. I don't know if y'all want to hear me talk about stuff like that. Other people have ranted about it. So anyway, weak auras, as you can tell, I use weak auras very heavily. I think it's a Amazing. It look, makes my UI, uh, I feel great about it. I have things glow that I want to glow. I press it, it no longer glows. I press it, it no longer glows. Things that have two stacks, I have it set up to where once it has two stacks, I use it. So then it goes away. And then now once it comes back and then it glows again. So I know when to use it and I, I can, it can help guide my eyes and guide my hands and abilities and thoughts. And like right here, this is the tanking cooldown. I should use it. Okay, cool. Now I have a thing coming up on my screen to show me that I have a tanking buff on myself. And then, oh, I have enough soul shards to use this and now I've used my spirit orbs and now I have my tanking cooldowns over here so whoo lots of different things here I do have multi I will I have two currently and there will be more in the future weak core videos to really show you how to use weak cores and take your game to the next level because it really really does it's probably one of the single most increases to what you're capable of doing with your character as far as cleaning up your interface and really showing you what you should be doing in the moment and you can absolutely fully customize it it's absolutely amazing if not number one but number one <laughs> And I feel maybe like it's kind of a joke that I'm saying this, but it's it's so true. And if you think about it for yourself, it's probably so true as well. Number one is details. <laughs> 
<laughs> the damage meter. Because man, if you play this game and you don't have a damage meter, if I could choose to have one add-on, if I just came back to WoW and I was going to play around, and I have to have a damage meter. I feel like you just absolutely have to have a damage meter. If not for comparison purposes or flexing purposes or what, for feedback, for how well you're doing purposes, seeing how good the other people in the group are doing. If you're a healer and you want to give power infusion to the best DPS, you look at your damage meter and you see who's doing the most damage and you give it to them, right? The damage meter is just honestly, it would feel very crazy. I could play this game without weak wars. I would set up my bar tender a certain way. I'd, I'd put things more in the center of the screen. I could make it work without weak wars. I could make it work with just about any of these other ones, but a damage meter, you just gotta have a damage meter. <laughs> so I hope you see where I'm going with that. I think weak wars is a more powerful add-on, but honestly, details is also very powerful in what you're doing and the amount of analytics you can dive into what you're doing right or wrong, checking your stuff. There's a lot of growth that you could have from knowing what you're doing. If you did not have any feedback and you're just playing the game with no Damn it, you're just kind of just in there, just slapping the round. You don't even know if you're doing good or bad or what's going on, what killed you. Details is legitimately pretty strong in that regard. So I'll stop the rant on there. But there is your top 15 add-ons. I hope these helped you. If you're interested in, in my UI or add-ons or imports or my weak auras, macros, I have a ton of videos that will be linked down in the description. And if you do want to go even further to support what I'm doing here and get your game to the next level too, think about joining my Patreon. Everything that I showed here, my, my imports, you can take the Shadow Unit Frames import. I have all for my patrons all imports to all my add-ons in one simple spot uh for patrons uh, that they can download everything and just instantly jump into it and then take it and customize it from there for that next level support so i appreciate y'all watching the video appreciate my patrons and until next time stay creative think outside the box peace